morning guys welcome back to the knitting expat podcast channel this is hopefully <laughs> moving day vlog um the second in our moving series i guess there's gonna be a few vlogs coming up hopefully <laughs> oh my goodness if you've seen part one then you will have a full backstory on the traumatic nature of this whole situation um so today is supposedly moving day and i say supposedly because we haven't exchanged or completed on the sale and purchase yet we were supposed to well oh, it was it was ridiculous anyway if you want the backstory on how we've ended up in this situation how like so many things went wrong like basically anything and everything that could go wrong in this process has happened and we are now in the situation when we are trying to exchange and complete on the same day so movers came yesterday and began packing up they're going to be here anytime in the next half an hour or so to finish packing up and load up and get everything out of the house and hopefully at some point we'll have a house to go to <laughs> honestly it's actually mind-boggling um i know everyone says that buying a house is probably the most stressful thing you could ever do but i feel like that's a bit of an understatement for how this process has been for us calling this stressful <laughs> is just isn't strong enough a word it has been nothing short of traumatic this whole thing has been so traumatic um and i don't use that word lightly I know that word sometimes gets thrown around but like genuinely this has been horrendous um it has sucked any joy out of this whole process for us it is it is actually horrendous and um like i've been physically ill because of it i've had panic attacks because of it i've like yeah i had t like severe tension headaches to the point where i thought maybe like something was more seriously wrong with me like it has been so bad so bad it's not just been stressful it has like started to physically affect my health and it's not great um yeah so that's what i mean when i'm like this has been and it's been emotionally really traumatic it's been such a roller coaster up and down every day uh, for the last two to three weeks we've been like on the cusp of getting things every day it's literally been two months two months now where every day we have a phone call with our solicitor and he's like we're almost there we've been almost there for two months and we're we're still not there we're the day of the move and we're still not there so um so yeah hopefully today is a moving day vlog otherwise i don't know what kind of day this is going to turn into to be quite honest it is around quarter to eight in the morning. We've been up for about an hour already because we couldn't sleep. Um, and I think, I was talking to Perry about this last night. I think the only positive thing about this whole situation right now is that Layla's not here. And not because I don't love her, obviously, but because if she was here, it would have been miserable for her, for us. We likely would have like not been as patient with her as we should be because we were so like emotionally stressed out. Um, but she's with my family she's staying with them for the week and she is having the best time and i am so happy for her that she's um you know having such a fun time <laughs> and not here experiencing the stress with us um so that's that's the only positive at the moment in this whole situation is that she's not having to go through this and um and she's having the best time and she just thinks that we're moving house and setting up her new room and all of that whilst she's staying at um, my parents house so she's very excited but um but yeah so hopefully hopefully it'll be okay fingers crossed i keep hoping keep getting let down but keep hoping it will eventually all work out i'm a true believer in things working out if they're meant to and they work out the way they should um, that's not to say you shouldn't try and do things, but, um, you know, that things will always work out in the end. Um, I will be honest, it's very hard to keep believing that sometimes, but, um, especially right now. But I'm very hopeful. I'm not, like, a religious person at all, but I do believe in things working out when they're meant to, so. 
anyway hopefully i mean to be quite honest you won't be seeing these videos if this whole thing all falls through so if you're watching this then it means we've moved um <laughs> i guess but but yeah so this is how i'm feeling morning of the move still don't know if we're actually moving oh and our internet's been cut off so there's that too <laughs> we now have no internet um which is fine but it's funny how internet companies or phone companies take so long to come and set up your internet but are very efficient at cutting you off when you tell them you need it cut off um so yeah anyway i'll speak to you guys soon right so a bit of an update for you guys sorry about the weird lighting but it is very sunny this morning which is good news hopefully <laughs> hopefully that's a good sign um so the movers arrived and we got them set up at the house like told them what needed to be done and like what things to leave behind etc there's a few things that we're taking ourselves um we created the boys so we put them in their carry case and uh set them up just so they wouldn't so the movers can leave the front door open without any worry about the cats and they won't get in their way um and perry and i have just headed out to pick up a van perry's hired a van for today and tomorrow so because like i said there's a few things that we want to transport ourselves just to be safe and just because we're that pedantic about it and uh yeah so we're just waiting for that yeah so we're just here picking up the car and on our way here our lawyer our solicitor called us to confirm that the money's been like received from our buyer so that's at least you know money's now with his solicitor so that's all good because that was the thing that basically held everything up yesterday um so hopefully that was the last hiccup anyway he he got our authority to proceed today that's been done now so hopefully the next time we hear from our solicitor it's to say that we've exchanged contracts so fingers crossed fingers crossed just gonna keep hoping and keep believing that things will work out um yeah so i'm just waiting here to make sure that perry actually gets the van before i leave and head back home because the last thing i want to do is head back home and then have to come back and pick him up again because something went wrong with the hire um yeah so just waiting for that and then we're gonna go back and I don't actually know what I'm going to have to do when we get back because I've done most things that I need to do. The movers are doing all the heavy lifting, which is good because I have a bad back and I can't do much in the way of lifting of heavy things. I can just stand there and direct them and tell them what to do, so that'll be fun. And then I think in a couple of hours we've got a cleaner coming to do sort of like a final clean of the house before we go. I mean, we already know we're going to have to come back because we've already realised the movers have packed a few things that we was that weren't supposed to be packed that we're leaving for the next person so what we've actually done is we've sold the buyer we've also sold him our fridge and tv uh, our fridge and tv so our fridge actually won't fit in the kitchen that we're, we're gonna have as it is like in the future we'll obviously probably redecorate and all that sort of stuff and our tv well we're not too fast on our tv so he wanted it so we're like fine okay um we'll just get a new tv at some point um so yeah so we know like they've packed the ice tray ice cube tray like the automatic ice cube tray from the um from the freezer of our fridge so we're gonna have to come back and drop that off and there's a couple of other things they've already packed that shouldn't have been packed so we're gonna have to come back at least once to drop those things off so it should be fine um so yeah we're keeping a running list of all the things that we've thought of as and when they happen but yeah all right well for now I think I might try and call Layla whilst we're here and I have some signal. We have terrible phone signal at the house, so, um, so yeah, anyway. Got back to the house and the movers have already done a pretty decent job of clearing out the living room. Um, it's not really a huge amount for me to do right now, to be honest. Terry's clearing out all the garden stuff and the stuff on the balcony and, and things. And the movers are doing everything else. I've just got the cats situated in the bathroom and let them out of the crate. They've got their litter there and their food and water. I've moved it down there for them. So they should be alright in there for a while. 
Um, and then once they've cleared everything else out, I'll move them again and they can get the last bits out of the bathroom. So there's only a couple of things left in there. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now, to be honest. I don't have a... There's not a lot for me to do. Um, a lot of what's being done right now is all the heavy lifting and I can't really do any of that. So, And Perry's already packed away my uh, knitting, so... I don't know, I guess I'll just wander around aimlessly and see what I can help people with along the way. But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Still no update on the exchange situation. I think it's around half nine in the morning. Yep, 9.40. So we'll see how things progress. So I finally have some good news. We exchange contracts. It is now 10 o'clock, 10 past 10, and just got the text message from our solicitor that we have finally exchange contracts so it looks like it's all going to go well um we are yeah movers are still moving everything out of the house i'm just sat in the bathroom now with the boys because i could hear them crying and to be honest i think i just get in the way more than anything else so i'm just hanging out with the boys right now they're down here there they are i'm getting text messages from my mum <laughs> getting updates from layla and yeah so she's having a third time of her life which is great better than being here with all this chaos and um and yeah i'm sending her regular photo updates of how the move is going because she's very excited i called her this morning whilst i was waiting for perry to get the van and she was she kept saying that she was very excited about moving and all this and that and she was very concerned about how they were going to move her bed and i said i'd send her pictures and stuff so that's been going on as well all right so that's the good news we have exchanged and the reason why exchange was is so significant is because once we exchange contracts even if completion gets delayed once we've exchanged contracts everyone's locked in and at this point pulling out would have a huge financial penalty for the party that breaks the contract essentially you're in contract now um, up until exchange anyone could pull out without a penalty and that's why it was so nerve-wracking we just wanted to exchange so that everyone's locked in and then there's less risk of um, you know everything falling through so now everyone's locked in so that's a relief completion should be able to happen today I don't think there's a reason why it shouldn't because the solicitors have all of the money now so it's just a matter of moving money um, and they should be able to do that so there's no reason why it shouldn't happen now so i say that there's always something that could go wrong so i'm not going to try and jinx them i'm just going to cross my fingers and hope things will just go according to plan Right, well, now it's almost 1pm, we're still waiting for the call to see if we have completed yet or not. There's still time, so <sighs> fingers crossed it all goes okay. There's not much else to update really, I'm just sat in the car right now because there's nowhere else to sit. And uh, yeah, movers are doing their thing. They have their keys released, but I think the vendor's going to be in contact with you. Yes, yeah, we've been in touch with yeah. them already. I've spoken to uh, my manager here and he said if the vendors are happy to Oh, perfect. Yeah, that works yeah. fine. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, okay. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Please do that Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's official confirmation from the state agents from the vendor side that we are moving. Right. So I'm in the car now. I've got the boys with me here, and we are headed to the house. Which is so exciting. I've just pulled in to get some takeaway, like pick up some quick food from a drive-thru on my way over because I am starving. It is half one, hopefully I'll be there around two-ish and then yeah, I'll get the keys, I'll get in, get the boys settled and get the house marked up so the movers know what all the rooms are, where they've got to take all the furniture and stuff, so yeah, excited! Mr Hugo is just chilling and Derek is behind him there. Derek never likes the car but he's doing alright. Hey buddy! Hey boys, you doing okay?
no, such good boys, such good boys. It's also completed as well. Okay, great. It should be available. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you so much. No worries. Okay. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay. All, all the best. I'll confirm everything <laughs> right in. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you bye so bye. much. Bye. Yay! So that was our um, solicitor just calling to confirm it's all been it's all gone through, which I knew it had because the the agent had already called me to tell me the keys were ready. So, yay! into our house I am a hot sweaty mess because it is hot and sunny outside and I've been running up and down the stairs so yeah this is a blue room <laughs> the walls are painted blue but yeah so the cats are in the bathroom which is just in there toilets here we have what's gonna be our guest room I think it's gonna be in here so yeah really exciting look how awesome this is Anyway, um, now I just have to wait for Perry and the movers to get here. Everything else has been done. I'm just gonna leave the cats in the bathroom for now. Um, I need to, what I do need to do, I've emptied all the stuff into the fridge and freezer. And, uh, oh, I just need to catch my breath. I need to go around and put masking tape on all the doors so people, or the movers, know what room is what, so they can, put all the furniture away and all the boxes where they're supposed to go. They were so sweet. They actually left some toys and things for Layla, which was very cute. Um, they had grandkids, so I guess they had these for when they were over. So I'd come down and explore the garden a little bit. This little playhouse. I don't know how grimy it's gonna be inside. Oh no. Oh, that's so cute. They've got a little rocking chair in there. <laughs> Looks like they've actually cleaned it out. So adorable, Layla's gonna love this. Well, looks like the veggie patch has turned into a bit of a meadow of flowers. Lots of uh, forget-me-nots are out. So, oh, and there's a bench. This garden is full of benches. I'm gonna have to see what's growing in these patches. But yeah, I think Perry and Layla are gonna have a great time down here. I might be wrong, but this looks like we might have some broccoli down here. I think that might be a rhododendron bush. Looks like it. Maybe something else, can't quite tell. Um, but yeah, garden's looking pretty awesome. Oh, there's more broccoli. No idea what all of this is. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, geez. a little play gym for the kids gonna have to clean that up but it looks like it's in decent working order it's got a slide got a swing got a little telescope thingy and a steering wheel up there lots of fun and oh, we even got some bluebells that's awesome love me some bluebells it's the little summer house they actually left the tables and chairs in there which is pretty awesome I was not expecting them to do that but yeah that's quite cool Pretty fun little feature. This will be quite nice. Sit there and have a coffee in the morning. Then down to the very end of the garden. Like this garden's still not finished. Oh, geez, bugs. All right, so this was another shed. There's more stuff down here. Okay, mostly junk it seems that we have to get rid of, but space there. And shed. In here, I think there's a power switch. And you said you left some tools for Perry. Yeah, he's left a little strimmer thingy and. <sighs> Oh, 
Well, we've had a vote on where we think it's going to go, and now yeah. none of us think it's going to go. <laughs> right, we're, we're going to try it. Ready? Really? Right, go. Oh, I'm good. Oh, me. Right, go. Come on. Two, shut up. Right, really, he's not the time to say, come on. Oh. Right, so you've got to push from yep. the bottom, and all you're going to be doing is pushing it up my body. Yeah. That sounds really dodgy, doesn't it? I know. But, uh, uh, Tell me when. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Oh. 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 Right, that's all that next step. Right. Well, we've got big problems now, because on the next one, you're going to get that ceiling. Right, if you can take it away, I'll put it on my shoulder and do it. Right, go on then. One step. Right. Yeah. One more. Right. Okay, so now, we need to get it up this one step. And then? And I need to move, because otherwise you're going to squish me. Right. I don't want to be squished. Why not? There you go, slide in it. Ready? No! No! It's got to go over there. That's going to go through the ceiling. Yeah. There we go. Just put it down now. Yeah, it's down. Right. There we go. Well, no, stop saying there we go. No, no, I'm saying there we go. It's down. Actually, I think we've done it now. No. <laughs> it's down. No. No. Right. 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 The bane of our existence. I say that as a bit dramatic, but we've got two of these and they're so big and so heavy. It takes like three people to lift one. It won't go through the front door. It was supposed to go in Perry's office. So now we have to find a spot for them on the lower ground floor because they can't even get them up the stairs because they're too big and too heavy. Came to check on the boys and they're just hiding in their little carrier. The gate, the door's open on it, so. And it just opened the top, but they've been hiding. Who knew? Lots of new smells and new sounds. Yeah, we'll get you out of here soon. It's okay. Just don't want you to get too scared. It's alright, buddy. They've got their food and water and their litter box, so they're all good. They've got everything they need. So I'd come hang out with them for a bit. Oh. One truck is done. These are just some extra boxes they had left at our house. And one truck to go. This one's about half empty now, so I only got a little bit left. Eight, the movers have finally left and we are now drowning in boxes <laughs> so this is now the state of the room that is to be my office oh my goodness there's actually a few more things that are supposed to be up here that were left downstairs so that'll be fun for another day <sighs> oh Hugo's gone into there let the boys out and Derek's in there exploring sniffing finding their things hey so this is going to be the guest room for now it's dumping ground then over here we got Hugo in what will be Perry's office there he is down there Boys ready to go downstairs? Oh, no, you're just going to do swapsies. Now Derek's exploring and... He goes off in there. Hey. 
the state of the kitchen. So we had to put one of the cabinets here because it wouldn't fit upstairs. And then boxes upon boxes upon boxes. Living room through here. It's not too bad, only a few boxes in here. Sofa, cat tree, more boxes behind there and then the conservatory. Oh. Someone's exploring his new realm. Here comes the other one. Hey buddy. <sighs> well, we are absolutely, well they say cream crackered. Yeah. <laughs> so exhausted. Ooh. How are you feeling? Exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but also very relieved that we're finally here. It's been a long time. A long process. Finally made it. Finally in our new home. We have a couple of days now to start getting a bit more settled until Layla shows up. And my parents. So yeah. Just taking a minute to breathe. That was really nice of the previous owners they set it up for us so we just had to light it.